So I've always loved food. Um, I started reading cookbooks probably when I was around four and I haven't stopped. Uh, I think my dream was always to work at a food magazine. I always sort of had uh, an interest in journalism as well and telling people's stories. And so I, I went to journalism school, but I also went to culinary school. And so I think in between the two of them, I was always a little unsure of where I was gonna land. Um, I loved the idea of being a professional food writer. You know, I think I needed to sort of pave my way doing um, more news reporting before I did that. Well, I was living in New York and I was working at a restaurant kind of part-time and waiting tables and bartending and then I ended up sort of making my way back into the kitchen and cooking for a couple of years too. Um, and then after that I ended up moving to New Orleans and, and doing more sort of news journalism and I was covering the courts for a long time uh, for the New Orleans Times-Picayune. And while I was there, there was uh, an opening at the local Alt Weekly for a restaurant critic and dining editor. And so I figured I would take the chance and, and give it a shot. And so that was about uh, almost five years ago, and I've been doing that since then. And uh, yeah, I love it. Uh, I loved working at restaurants. I felt at home there. I made. I love the camaraderie of the restaurant industry. I think I made most of my best friends throughout my life working there. And so I always sort of, I understood how. It, it worked to be either a chef or a manager or anywhere in front of the house or back of the house. And so as a, as a dining reviewer later on, I realized that that actually helped a lot. So I went to culinary school. Uh, I did a brief program there when I was um, 21 in Paris. And uh, I loved it. I'd never been able to like go to school before and be so excited to get up at six o'clock in the morning and actually go to class <laughs> and get to, you know, debone a chicken or, <laughs> um, it, it, was, it was really fun and it taught me a lot about the basics of sort of classic French cuisine. I think before and after that, I was also somewhat of a home, like a home taught cook because I was constantly pouring over cookbooks. I was constantly experimenting with new recipes. It was just something that I did um, almost as like a form of like therapy or it was, just, it was cathartic for me to come home at the end of the day and like if I had a bad day, just start cooking. One of my, the first cookbooks that I like really ever had was a Julia Child cookbook. So I think like going to school at Le Cordon Bleu in Paris, um, I felt, um, I don't know, it reminded me of her. She went to school there too. So, you know, there's that movie, Julie and Julia, which is one of my favorites. Um, every time I'm having a bad day, I watch that movie and it makes me feel better. I'm excited about being here in the Tampa Bay area and covering the food scene here. Um, for one, because it's completely new to me. Uh, I love seeing a place with fresh eyes. Um, I think I had the same experience when I first came to New Orleans because I knew nothing about the place, really, and I, I don't really know that much about the area here yet. And what I've seen so far is exciting, it's diverse, it's burgeoning, um, it feels new and creative, but it also feels like a place that does honor tradition. So yeah, I'm just really excited to be here.